According to Bell, the V247, in its most compact version, will be able to be housed in the same space as the MH-60R Seahawk and perform the same missions under the FVLMS Future Vertical Lift Maritime Strike Program of the U.S. Navy. For the MAGTF program, the V247 is designed with a maximum takeoff weight of 30,000 pounds, while for the FVLMS program it has 28,000 pounds. According to Todd Warden, Bell's Director of Sales and Strategy for Advanced Vertical Takeoff Landing Systems on the Drive's website, the company is restoring the V247 Vigilant Variable Rotor and Multi-Purpose Drone Program. The prospect is that the new V247 Vigilant will be offered, with a new smaller design, to the U.S. Navy. Note that the V-247 is designed for the Marine Corps and the MAGTF Marine Air Land Operations Team Program. The reduction was made by reducing fuel tanks. The development of the smaller version is guided by the capacity of the V-247 in the Arleigh Burke hangar, but also in ships with less displacement, such as frigates. The V-247 can carry a payload of up to 9,000 pounds and achieves a standard cruising speed of 444 km per hour and a maximum continuous speed of 556 km per hour. Without refueling, its mileage is 1127 km. The missions it can undertake are intelligence gathering, surveillance, intelligence and targeting, surface warfare, submarine warfare, mine warfare, air-to-air -air missions, cyber warfare, search and rescue, command and control, close and mutual support, support of special operations, and coastal defense. Bell Helicopter continues to work on a promising unmanned tiltrotor V-247 Vigilant, designed for the U.S. Armed Forces. According to the latest data, the company developer has already begun to test a prototype and carries out other necessary work. It is expected that in the near future V-247 will fully join one of the promising programs of the Marine Corps. Also, this machine can offer other structures of the armed forces of the United States and other countries. For the first time, information on the new V-247 project was presented in 2016 year. After that, Bell repeatedly showed advertising materials. A full-size mock-up of a future convertible plane was shown for the first time in September last year. The platform for its premiere was the Marine Day Exhibition Modern Day Marine Expo 2018. Since the beginning of March this year, there are reports in the foreign press about the completion of the construction of the experienced V-247 and about the start of tests. However, such data have not yet received official confirmation. According to available data, the V-247 Vigilant Alert project provides for the construction of a tilted or multipurpose heavy unmanned aerial vehicle. This machine is designed for reconnaissance and strikes against enemy targets. Declared the possibility of using guided missiles and air-to-surface bombs, as well as torpedoes. Suspended containers with specialized equipment can also be used as a payload. The company developer believes that such broad opportunities will become a competitive advantage of the new machine. Due to the applied solutions and devices, the new drone will be able to work at any time and in any conditions. Foreign publications assume that the number 247 in its index stands for 24 hours, 7 days per week. UAV gets a glider built with the use of metal alloys and composite materials. A fuselage with a characteristic shape, on which a high-mounted straight wing is installed, is used. 
At the edges of the center section are placed two mobile engine nacelles, which serve as the basis for the wing consoles. Depending on the mode, the nacelle and the console, they can be horizontal, vertical or intermediate position. A horizontal stabilizer with curved keels was used. It is curious that in the older advertising images there was a V-shaped tail. Perhaps the main feature of the V247 product is the design of its propeller groups. Turboprop engines of unnamed type, connected to gearboxes and three-blade propellers of variable pitch, are placed in mobile nacelles. Such a power plant must provide a vertical takeoff, with a horizontal position of the propeller discs, or a flight in an aircraft-like mode with a vertical orientation of the propellers. Due to this, it is proposed to reduce requirements for landing sites, as well as to improve flight and operational characteristics. In fact, Vigilance should have all the advantages inherent in tilt rotors. The design of the wing is designed taking into account basing on aircraft carriers, as well as to simplify operation on land. The ends of the engine nacelles and screws can be folded, which reduces the transverse envelope of the machine to reasonable limits. The V247 U of basic package includes a set of various types of electronic equipment, autopilot, surveillance, navigation, etc. A spherical optoelectronic station with a standard set of optical range observation devices is placed under the nose. Suspended radar, RLS or lighter containers can be used to conduct intelligence or improve situational awareness. The presented model, and, probably, a full-fledged drone has four pylons under the wing to accommodate weapons. Declared compatibility with different aviation weapons designed to attack ground and surface objects. At last year's show, the V-247 mocked the AM-114 Hellfire guided missiles and the Textron Fury guided bombs. In the central part of the fuselage there are free volumes suitable for use as a cargo compartment.